Hello, fine folks of the internet. This is Brian with Substance TV doing a commentary on a gold run that I just finished up the other day. We've covered a lot on Substance TV clash strategies in Mass Effect 3. Well, now we're going to actually implement this in the multiplayer itself. Um, before you go into this, you can see we've got some equipment. I've equipped some warp ammo, a targeting VI, um, and some shield bonuses. That's really up to you. I have the Mantis X equipped here for my sniper rifle. We have the location set as Firebase White. Enemy is Geth. The reason we choose this is the location I'll go into later. The Geth, I find, are one of the easier classes to fight. And since I'm using my Corrin Infiltrator, it's a perfect match. This was the Corrin Infiltrator we went over on Substance TV that is a Geth killing machine. So we start the round up, and the first thing you're going to want to do is run to the bottom left corner room. This is your sanctuary. This is your base of operations, okay? No one is to get in here. This is where it's all going to go down. And for the remainder of the match, this is where you want to be. As you can see, we've got myself as a uh, corn infiltrator. I think we have a Solarian engineer with a decoy. We have a Geth infiltrator. And then the one oddball is a I don't know why, it was a Krogan Sentinel who is supposed to be attacking and doing physical attacks, but he can. So I found that kind of odd, but whatever, it still worked. So as you can see, I'm doing my sniper thing, attacking people. I've got my build set up so that after I shoot a shot, if there's another enemy around, I instantly hit right bumper so that I can sabotage and control the Geth. Now, the reason we're going against Geth here, especially for my build, is that um, unlike a lot of other attacks that don't affect the bigger enemies in classes, Sabotage is very unique in the fact that it can affect Geth Prime. You can control a Geth Prime and have it attack its fellow baddies. Um, and, of course, with this Sniper Rifle build, the main thing is you want to get headshots as much as possible. That's what this is built for. And that is where it will succeed. If you're not comfortable with this, um, there is a build for a Geth Infiltrator that uses a shotgun, the Geth shotgun, and it does pretty well. But I think, as you will find uh, in this round, I got the highest score in it, almost 100,000, I think. You'll, you'll see. But, of course, once the round's over, go throughout the back here, load with some more ammo, and then... Uh, Go through and start killing and shooting again. I kept seeing this guy's name, and all I saw was was C O, and then Ice at the end, and my brain somehow said, "Oh, it's Condoleezza Rice." Condoleezza Rice. I'm playing an Xbox Live with Condoleezza Rice. That's so nice. Of course, it sadly wasn't. I know you're all disappointed and heartbroken. Now you've got two little desk areas. As you can see, we got two guys up there, which Usually I'm up there, but I kind of switch between. And then you've got this back area. Now you see I don't I don't stand behind this back area much, just because I don't have that great of a field of vision. Right around this area, especially from the core infiltrator, I kind of like to hang out behind here because I got access to that top right staircase, but I can also kind of peek in and out and get access to that other staircase coming into the uh, into the room. And these are the two main points of access into the room. You're going to have people coming down the stairs to the front and people coming through the side doors as well. Now, you just saw dysentery do there. That, if you're on that wall and you got an enemy close to you, you want to mash B like a madman. Because that will save you a lot of trouble with hunters and pyros. You can get to them and stab them immediately. You just save yourself a ton of trouble and a ton of energy killing them right off the bat. And like I said, I know people are going to talk about, you know, the Black Widow or the Javelin. To me, the Mantis X, for the weight it has, um, it's great. Okay, so as you can see here, we're all talking. That's the other thing, too. If you're going to do gold, you've got to have a team that you can actually talk to. This isn't going to work with just a bunch of randos and the uh, What happened was is 
the other infiltrator on the team, the Geth, uh, he called and says, I've got these. And what you want to do is you want to just send one of your people out. The rest you stay back. As tempting as it is, stay back here in the room and fend off and hold off all the enemies because that's where all the enemies are going to be funneling towards. So what Imbiz Bomb is going to do is he's going to go activate all the other points and uh, do the hard work while you kill all the enemies. Now, as you'll see here, on this uh, third device, he's going to activate it. And of course, we're just doing what we're doing. We're keeping all the enemies at bay, getting points, and there, you know, he's deactivating all the points, which is important. Now, at this point, I yell out, and I'm going to say, I'm going to go get it. He calls and says, no, I've got it, I'm fine, and so we end up going back and uh, going back into the room. Had a trooper hiding back here for some reason, I don't know why. And it gets all the points, so we got all of them, which is, that's what you want to do. You want to do as quick as possible, you'll get a credit bonus, and you'll stop the Compton Florida enemies. The sooner you can do that, the better. And of course, you always want to be nice, pick up your buddies, be a good, be a good teammate. Don't ignore them, I've had too many times where I've played with people who completely ignore their teammates and never pick them up even if they're just two feet away from them. Uh, the other thing that you'll see me doing here with the Quarian, when I sabotage and control other Geth, my main targets are Pyros. Now I know some people would say, well go for Hunters or go for the Primes, but the Pyros, especially in the Gold where you have a high concentration of enemies, is amazing. He can just lace even a prime with his flamethrower and take his armor and shields down like nobody, or his armor, I should say, like nobody's business. That, and if a pyro explodes, because one of the bonuses I have on this uh, quarrying build, which you can check out at substancetv.net if you're interested, um, is when you kill a character who is under sabotage control, they blow up and do damage in a radius. So, the great thing about pyros is, if you shoot them correctly, you can shoot their tanks and get them to blow up. So if you can get them to blow up beyond the damage they already do when they blow up as a sabotage character, you've got yourself a, a tasty recipe for uh, pyro crispy blackened pyro and uh, it'll do damage to everybody around you. So as I talked about, I'm, I'm, I'm bobbing back and forth between this spot here, dodging these rockets. Now the Solarian has his decoy out, which is really crucial for this. Um, I You can do it without it, but the decoy serves as a great choke point. It distracts the enemies, they attack with the decoy, and it stops them from coming any further in the room. Um, without that decoy, you invite people to come out and around and behind this desk. So, see where dysentery and ice are? Without the decoy, they are very, very easy to get around the back of this desk and start shooting. And once they come around the back, you're, you're dead. Which, like I said, is very important. It's why you gotta... If you see an enemy coming up to you, don't just press B once and hope it gets it. Tap that B, okay? Tap that B like there's no tomorrow. Tappity tap tap tap. Because it'll take maybe a few times, and that's one of the issues I do have with sometimes the online. You, it's not precise as you would like it to be, but it gets the job done. In most of these rounds, it's it's luck of the draw of whether you get an enemy round or whether you get a capture round or whether you get an objective round. As you can see, as we're going later on the rounds here, we're already up to two Geth Primes coming out of first. And uh, you'll find the Geth Primes are your bestest friend in these gold rounds. Because they are everywhere. A lot of the times, too, you'll notice I will sabotage a character, but they don't seem to, they don't seem to be affected. You can see them still attacking. Especially on gold, this happens. Because, well, 
to be honest, your, your, your sabotage isn't as strong or isn't as good on the bigger enemies. And on gold, it's, it's even less effective. So keep that in mind. If, if you're trying to control a character and you don't, it's okay. This is another reason why I control pyros, because I found that pyros have a higher rate of capture and actually doing damage to the enemy than, uh, than the primes. Primes are just more resistant to that kind of mind control. That and, and the primes are big and do damage, but they don't do as much widespread damage in my opinion. So again, the uh, other infiltrator, he's doing the same thing as I am, going back and forth. And that's a, man, that, that Geth Prime shot just curves around. It almost seems to go through the wall, but it curves around the wall and got me. Which is another thing you want to keep in mind, of course, when you cloak, because you can see that my shield doesn't go up. It stays at halfway, and then it keeps going back up. So keep that in mind if you're in uh, trouble, a little bit of danger. Don't instantly go to cloak. Wait it out a little bit. You know, if, you, if you're needing the extra shields, see if you can hide a bit and get your shields back up. Because uh, as you'll see later here, this uh, bomb, the other uh, Geth infiltrator, will get down. Oh God, this is this is uh, terrible. This is the most dreaded part of, for me, of any of these rounds, but especially of gold. Now look at where the position of this is. This is just a terrible position to be at. Sometimes they will be down these stairs, they'll be down that hallway, and in that area, which isn't so bad, because really all you've got to do is defend downstairs and upstairs. Uh, here you've got four points of entry. you got an entry of that stairway. You got an entry here where I'm at. You got an entry up that ladder, and of course you got an entry going down the stairs to the, uh, I guess the flight deck, as you would call it, where that ship's landed at. And this gets pretty hectic because um, the cover is hard to find, and yeah, this is just where brute force helps. Use as a Korean infiltrator, use your sabotage first. And as you'll notice, I use my sabotage first. Usually I snipe and then use it. But in a lot of cases, you don't have time to do that. You you want to control the main characters, the, the, the tougher enemies, um, and then shoot them. Because if they're out of the picture and they're not doing damage to you, then that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. This is also not a good one because you can't stay in the hack all the time and, and get the cover. So... But, oh, excuse me. But as as far as this goes, we're actually doing fairly well. No one's getting down. We're not all using meta gel or a, a ton of uh, packs to heal ourselves. So once it's over, get out of there. Don't hang around. Don't chill out there. Just run away. Do yourself a favor. I got this pyro to come follow me a little bit. I think someone does fall. I think. Old Cod Ice, or no, Dysentery. I shot by a rocket trooper, you jerk. So then, of course, Khan picks up Dysentery. Now, Dysentery's up and he's down. And this is very important. I cannot stress this enough. Learn when to leave your friends down. I know that sounds wrong. I know we're supposed to help them. But at a time like this, when we are so close to being down with this round. If it's not necessary and they're too far away, kill all the enemies first and then move on. Because most of the time what I've seen happen in situations like this, enemies are bunched around the dying or dead corpse of your friend and you're just inviting trouble. So if you can't get to them and you can help it and you can defeat the rest of the enemies in a wave, don't worry about it. Just let them be. They'll get back up and they can still get all the bonus and everything. It just, well, it takes a little bit. It takes a while. So we're already on the wave seven, which time-wise too, a lot of golds and a lot of other builds and levels you play are going to take longer. If you've got a uh, a good team, I mean, you can roll, you know, 30 minute easy. 
and get yourself some good gold, some good experience if you really need it. And again, like this build I'm using is mainly for gold, but it can work for experience. If uh, you've got a character who's almost level 20, or if you want to help a butt out that maybe has a character that they want to kind of piggyback on, do that. So I'm doing my sniping thing. Trying to stay out of line of fire from the rock troopers. And that's the thing too, if you see uh right there, right there. He just stabbed the guy. Kind of watch for that. I mean, they might not get him every time, but uh if you see somebody's coming to that area, don't waste your time and bullets on them. Try to get people that are outside of the door that are coming in. And when you're aiming with a sniper rifle as the infiltrator, take your time when you need to. It's important to get off as many shots as possible. This is true. But since your headshots do most of your damage, or do the most damage, a little, a couple extra seconds for a headshot is well worth it. You know, it would always be awesome and just get headshots all the time, but because, you know, I certainly will never be that godly. You'll just have to, uh, deal with it. And you see right there, I had that uh, aiming VI on there, and that Geth Prime Shields went down fast. Now here's the thing, so it's, it's, I don't know if it's a glitch or he just didn't have it on soon enough, but uh, if the Prime see you before you're cloaked, even when you cloak, they can still get off a few shots and track you. So again, be mindful of that because when you're cloaked, your shields don't go back up. And that goes into your all-important, almighty health. Because your shields can go back up and your shields can recharge. But once your health is down, um, well, your health is down. And you're screwed. So here I'm going out to get a few, uh, get another ammo pack. Always tell your buddies you're going to get an ammo pack. It just is nice. I go around here sometimes. If I'm trying to circumvent enemies going into here, maybe distract them. But yeah, tell your buddies you're going to go in there. Right here, I'm focusing on this enemy. Notice I'm not worried about the other enemies. I'm trying to focus on this enemy because he's attacking my bud. He's directly behind him. So always important to prioritize your enemies. Make sure you, you know, you're not just trying to glory hog and get some kills outside. If you got an enemy coming to get your friend, uh, it could prove difficult if you let them die or you let them get downed, and now you're the only one standing there. It's, it's a problem. Boom. A beautiful headshot, if I do say so myself. On the pyro. Which, I love it when their tanks start burning on fire, and you're like, yeah, you're gonna blow up. Now you see there again, Y for the cloak, and then right instantly as I shoot, right button, sabotage. You gotta do it really quick. The exchange has gotta be really quick with this build. Because it's not meant to last to give you two powers. So for instance, if I use the cloak and then I sabotage, instead of cloak shoot and sabotage, then I don't get a shot with my bonus cloak. So that's the order you wanna go in. Cloak, shoot, sabotage. CSS. There you go. My tip to you. And got the Geth Prime again. When you got four people all focused on the Geth Prime, they're they're not as bad as I once thought they were. I I hated Geth Primes I used to, but uh, not so much anymore. So you you may be saying, well, why Geth? What's why use the Geth as a class to go against for gold? Well, I'm a little bit biased, and I'll admit it because I've got a core infiltrator that is just awesome beyond all means. The other thing is they are the only enemies that can't insta-kill you. They don't have an enemy that can insta-kill you. Which is nice. And especially in this gameplay you don't want people insta-killed. You want to keep them alive as long as possible. And especially if you're on wave 11 trying to get extracted or wave 10 just trying to get gold and someone dies it sucks. Um... Also, unlike other classes, 
um, the Atlas in the uh, Cerberus and enemies like the Reapers and the Brutes are much faster than the Prime. It doesn't seem like it, but they can get you pretty darn quick. And the Primes are nice and slow. They, uh, they take their sweet time getting you. They just walk to you. They're not running. They're not skipping or jumping. And of course, being able to control them as they are synthetics is nice. Gives that little bonus there. So, that's what I found. I mean, I know that there's some people who probably have classes built for Reapers, but what we're trying to do in this map is give a, a choke point. And unlike the Reapers, none of the enemies like uh, the Banshee or the Brute can get to you quickly. This map with Reapers is, no, not doable. The same strategy wouldn't work because you'd have Reaper uh, Banshees on you, you'd have probably Brutes on you because they're just too fast. Cerberus, I don't think I need to explain. Atlases, uh, and beyond your big Atlases, um, I, I, I don't enjoy getting stabbed. The sort of sort of chicks, no fun. So that is why we choose Geth, because they can be controlled. And they're slow too. I'm I'm actually more annoyed and more bothered by uh, these hunters here than I am by primes. Because primes, you know, they do do damage, but these hunters, they can sneak up behind you and you don't notice them. They can be invisible and you're busy in the middle of this chaos. Yeah. So more the same killing. Same old, same old. Now, uh, Kyle will go up and pick up his bud and help him out. And if you're the engineer, make sure your decoy is always out. Sometimes we, the engineer will forget in the middle of killing that they need their engineer out. And then all of a sudden, like, oh, I should have my engineer out, maybe. And you're like, yes. Yes, you should. Or your, your decoy. I'm sorry. Look at me now. I'm screwing up. I'm a pretty good shot. I'm not the best shot in the world when it comes to the uh, to the sniper rifle, but I'm pretty darn good. I, I I will I'll toot my own horn a little bit. Not much better. And when you get to these golds, I talked about this Krogan Sentinel through level 13. And this is an exception because we got everybody else at level uh, 20. You don't want to bring your low level characters in here. This is not these gold maps and the way we built this is not meant for that. Okay, now watch this. This Geth Prime had way too much shields and way too much armor to be killed in the time we had. You know, this one, we've been chipping away at him as he's come in, but this one kind of got past our radar. And use your rockets with, with uh, good timing, I shall say. Don't... You know, don't overuse them, but if you see that a buddy's going to get killed again, these two guys would have been murdered if if the, the Prime would have gotten behind there, and, and who knows what that would have done for us, because our engineer would have been down, uh, Pro Sentinel, who, you know, good, good bait, would have been gone, and, you know, we're stuck, so always be mindful of your rockets, and don't feel like, you, gotta, you know, you've got to save them until wave 10 or 11. And again, communication is key. Talk to your friends. Tell them how many rockets you've got or who's going to do the rocket. Because nothing sucks more than everybody getting the same idea at once and firing a rocket. And then you've wasted two or three extra rockets on top of yours. It's not we're good. So, uh, let's see what we got coming in here. Yeah, same, 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 same. I mean, this is really difficulty-wise. It's, it's not difficult. I... I don't want to say that it's easy in the sense of, of how to play it, but this is not uh, as hard as some others. Now, okay, so what we've done here, we've got a, a data siphon, and our boy Imzbomb, if I'm not saying his name correctly, he's going to go after it again. Again, just decide he's going to go after it, make the call, and, and decide on it. There's no need for people to be a glory hog and all go in at once, because... Two people here is, I mean, four people here is 
you know, a challenge. But three people here, it's a little bit tougher, so don't make it tougher than it is. Now, after he activates the second point, it's going to kind of change up a little bit. So you've got your one guy on the field as it is. He's, he's the one at the more difficult locations. Now, this next one is right next to me. So I tell the guy, say, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get it. And, of course, I hesitate a little bit. So I go down and I go to activate it. Now, as tough as it is and as much as you're going to want to go in there, the other infiltrator, stay where you are or close to around the area on the other side of the map. You're invisible. You're already on that side. If another point were to come up, see, like right here, the point is right next to the one I just activated. Now, if the point had been activated next to him, he would have been close enough to it to go get to it. If he would have run all the way over here or run back here to the base, he would have been in trouble. And these guys are just getting stab happy, man. Just pulling people over and stabbing them in the face. So there we go. Very simple, very easy. Got that round done. And had to think the Krogan had to use a meta gel, but as far as casualties go, not a bad round at all. I I think it was actually went quite well. See, I notice I've got this Krogan or the uh, Sentinel under my control and or Prime. Gosh, I'm losing here. I got the Prime under my control, but it's still attacking, which is just what it does sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't it doesn't listen to your commands. Other times, it does. So see, notice the difference there between my uh, headshot and a body shot? Big difference in damage, and you want to keep that in mind when you're uh, aiming. And, of course, go back, get some more ammo. Got the gold challenge. We're awesome, we beat it. And so now, all that's left uh, is for us to get out of here. Now, there's two ways to do on it. There's two ways of doing this extraction point. Once wave 10 is over, you can go up those stairs to the left. Two double stairs. Or you can sit here. Both work. Um, this is the easier to defend spot. And it's... I, I go back and forth between the two. The stairs are a little harder to defend. Because you got to have people at the bottom of the stairs and people at the top of the stairs. So you're defending two spots, but you don't have as much leeway. I mean, here we got a lot of space to deal with. We can stand back. We can even retreat past here and go out that door around the area where I was activating those uh, data points was. But just like you did before, you know, do your killing, do your moitering, and blow everyone up to smithereens like you always do. And uh, as you're going through this, you want to get in your head, okay, we need somebody to be prepared with a rocket launcher. We'll explain that in just a little bit, why that's necessary in this escape plan. Now see, me and the uh, other Geth as infiltrators, we're great on escaping this. You know, there's, there's no problem. That's really not an issue. Um, the issue is actually getting everybody else out. Okay, so here we have 30 seconds. You go out the back door, okay? Now we have a squad member down, he just got himself with the meta jump. Then you go out the back door, you go around, and I myself, I take the ladder, because that's not as congestive an area as I found. And uh, go out here to the extraction point. Got everybody here, and bada bing, bada boom. There is a uh, gold Moss Mass Effect 3 multiplayer round finished in 28 minutes and 35 seconds. The uh, score, almost 100,000, and 74,000 credits. You know, almost 75,000, which easily can net you a Spectre Pack. So anyway, that's a short little video. Well, not short, but it's as short as I can make it on the gold Mass Spec 3 multiplayer and how to beat it and how to get yourself all the gold you want to buy yourself more cool equipment. So just follow these steps, go through, Fight your way against the Geth, and uh, you'll have yourself a grand time. Of course, if you want to look at the specific build for the Quarren Infiltrator we had in this that I was playing with, check out SubstanceTV.net, and you too can see the build and how to do it.